A federal judge called it one of the saddest cases he has ever seen. Drug dealers sold counterfeit pills knowing their customers were being poisoned. Some of them were left dying. News 4's Nancy Amons digs into never before seen evidence in a case of deadly drugs. It makes you like just like that. You're hearing for the first time the evidence in a deadly drug case. And it waved her out. This is Jonathan Barrett, now in prison for selling pills. The prosecutors say led to three deaths. More than 30 people collapsed from overdoses during a 24 hour period in 2016. <coughs> Murfreesboro hospitals, police, and EMS were swamped. These are evidence photos. Barrett sold pills that were pressed and stamped to look like Percocet. It's a commonly prescribed pain pill. But there was no Percocet in these. Instead, a potentially lethal substitute. What you're getting is fentanyl, which is obviously 10 times stronger than heroin. Murfreesboro Police Sergeant Tommy Massey investigated the first in a series of deaths. Tiffany Scott, her roommate, found her cold body. Barrett's phone began blowing up, his customers reporting bad reactions to the Perk, short for Percocet. One customer texts, the perk you sold us sent me to ER in ambulance. Uh, she Someone else? Said that it messed her up, said she wrecked her car, and said she went to the hospital. And got also, he, he was being reached out to by people he had sold to that were getting sick. The faces of the victims became court exhibits. But the most damning evidence against Barrett, the timeline. He kept selling the pills even though he knew people were dying. Here's Sergeant Massey grilling Barrett. When you sold between 12.30 and 2, you knew Tiffany was dead, and you knew it was, had a potential to be from those Percocet. And when we ultimately confronted him about it, he did admit to continuing to make the sales, that he had to get rid of the pills. He had $1,000 invested into it, so, you know, he's not going to flush his money down the toilet. A federal judge has sentenced six defendants so far in this case. Barrett, who made just a $2 profit off each pill, got 23 years. Nancy Amons, News 4.